Mm, so hello guys, this is Suyash Koyal signing in. I hope you all are doing very well. So can you all uh, listen to me guys? Uh, please let me know once you are there, once you are able to hear me what I'm saying, once you all are there to attend the session, please let me know guys if there is any kind of update from your side. Are you all there guys? Can you hear me what I'm saying everyone out there? Everyone guys, can you hear me all of you? Please tell me quickly so that we can begin with today's session. Are you there guys? Everyone out there? Please tell me quickly. Mm. Let me just refresh the connection once. Guys, can you hear me? Everyone out there, please tell me quickly if you are there, if you are able to listen to what I'm saying, everyone, guys. This is Soyash Koyal signing in, guys. I hope that you all are doing very well. And today in this particular session, uh, what we are going to talk about, the agenda that we have today is allied angles. So we're going to talk about what we're going to talk about the allied angles. We're going to talk about the fact that whenever you have been given allied angles, how you can convert those allied angles into what? How you can convert those allied angles into your acute angle so when i'm saying allied angles what do i mean by that when i'm talking about allied angles what do i mean by that so let's focus and allied angles guys is nothing but this so whenever i'm talking about any angle of the form let's say you have been given sine <clears throat> If I have been given this angle, so I can write this sine 340 as what? I can write this sine 340 as this. Sine 360 minus 20. How many of you are clear with this, guys? Can you can you understand this? When I am talking about sine 340, so I can write that sine 340 to be what? I can write that sine 340 to be sine 360 minus 20. Are we clear with this, everyone? Right? And this is what we call allied angles. So angles of this form, I have angles of the form sine 360 plus 20, sine 360 minus 20, sine 360 plus minus theta, 10 360 plus minus theta, or I have uh, sine 70, 90 plus minus theta, sine 279 plus minus theta, sine 180 plus minus theta, or I have any other uh, ratio, let, let it be uh, 10, 180 plus minus theta, 10 270 plus minus theta cot 270 plus minus theta whenever i have any form okay whenever i have these kind of angles tab hum log discuss karte hain kya tab hum log discuss karte hain apne allied angles are we clear with this guys everyone out there please tell me quickly guys quickly guys everyone please respond so that we can accordingly proceed with the session all of you guys who are there can you hear me everyone out there am i audible to you guys everyone out there please tell me quickly Can you hear me guys? Are you there? Okay, so as no one is replying right now on YouTube, let's move forward, guys. So basically, जब भी मैं इन एंगल्स की बात करता हूँ, then how do we tackle these angles? Okay, how do we actually tackle these angles? So there is a proper way that we follow to handle these kind of angles. There is a proper way that we follow to tackle these kind of angles. तो होता क्या है, guys? If you talk about any trigonometric ratio, or let's say if you talk about the Cartesian system, so this kind of setup you have, you have your y-axis and you have your x-axis. When you talk about your x-axis and when you talk about your y-axis, you have the angles which are moving like this. You have 0, 90, 180, 270 and 360. Now the problem is that your angle does not terminate here. Your angle does not terminate here and you can 
increase your angle in whatever amount you want to that will be again what 360 plus 90 that will be 450 again 450 plus 90 that will be 540 540 plus 90 that will be 630 630 plus 90 that will be 720 plus 90 that will be 810 plus 90 that is 900 plus 90 that is 990 plus 90 that is 1080 and similarly आप अपने एंगल को कितना भी क्या कर सकते हो आप अपने एंगल को इसी तरीके से कितना भी इंक्रीज कर सकते हो सो द पॉइंट हियर इज दैट इन क्लास टेंथ व्हाट वी हैव डिस्कस्ड इज जस्ट दिस कि यार जब मेरे को अपना एंगल 0 से 90 के बीच में दे रखा है तो मुझे वैल्यू पता है कि उस एंगल की वैल्यू क्या होगी बट व्हाट इफ माय एंगल हैज बीन गिवन टू मी दैट इज हैविंग अ मेजर मोर देन 90 डिग्री उस केस में मैं क्या करूंगा तो उस केस के लिए हम लोग पढ़ते हैं एलाइड एंगल्स को टैकल करना कि कैसे मैं किसी भी एंगल को क्या करूंगा अब यहां पर मुझे एंगल कुछ भी दिया हो 180 से 360 के बीच में 360 से 720 के बीच में 720 से बड़ा 1500 1700 2000 एनी एंगल कुड हैव बीन गिवन टू मी आई विल बी लर्निंग नाउ दैट हाउ आई कैन कन्वर्ट एनी गिवन एंगल हाउ आई कैन चेंज एनी गिवन एंगल इन द फॉर्म ऑफ एक्यूट एंगल मैं उसको कैसे किसी भी एंगल को 0 से 90 के बीच में ला सकता हूं दिस इज व्हाट वी आर गोना डिस्कस टुडे आर वी क्लियर विद दिस एवरीवन आउट देयर सॉर्टेड हाउ आई एम गोना डू दिस लेट्स लेट्स फोकस गाइस एवरीवन आउट देयर प्लीज फोकस हम लोग इसको कैसे करेंगे तो आई एम अज्यूमिंग कि आप लोगों को पता है कि जब भी आपको mm, बात करी जाती है किसकी ट्रिग्नोमेट्रिक रेशियोस की सो आई एम अज्यूमिंग दैट यू ऑल नो दैट साइन ऑफ माइनस थीटा इज माइनस साइन थीटा cos ऑफ माइनस थीटा इज cos थीटा and 10 of minus theta is minus 10 theta okay similarly i can have the same ratios for your cosec sec and cot as well and you can say that your cosec minus theta will be what your cosec minus theta will be minus cosec theta your sec minus theta will be minus your sec minus theta will be sec theta and your cot minus theta will be minus cot theta how many of you are clear with this guys everyone please respond guys everyone out uh, there please respond guys okay so sin minus theta is minus sin theta, cos minus theta, cos theta होता है, उसमें minus sin नहीं आता, similarly sec minus theta, sec theta होता है, तो cos minus theta और sec minus theta को छोड़कर, बाकी जितने भी आपके negative angles हैं, उन सब में आपका minus sin कहां आ जाता है, बहार आ जाता है, I am assuming that you are clear with this as well, ये मानते हुए, एक चीज और मेरे को माननी है कि आपको पता है, और वो कि अगर आपको क्वाड्रेंट्स दे रखे हैं तो आई एम अज्यूमिंग दैट यू ऑल नो दिस वेरी वेल कि फर्स्ट क्वाड्रेंट में आपके सारे ट्रिग्नोमेट्रिक रेशियोस पॉजिटिव होते हैं सेकंड क्वाड्रेंट में आपका साइन पॉजिटिव होता है थर्ड क्वाड्रेंट में आपका टेन पॉजिटिव होता है और फोर्थ क्वाड्रेंट में आपका cos पॉजिटिव होता है आई होप दैट यू आर क्लियर विद दिस एज़ वेल राइट सो so, हम ये मान के चल रहे हैं कि फर्स्ट क्वाड्रेंट में आपको पता है ये वाली बात कि फर्स्ट क्वाड्रेंट में ऑल द ट्रिग्नोमेट्रिक रेशियोस आर पॉजिटिव सेकंड क्वाड्रेंट में साइन इज पॉजिटिव एंड जब साइन पॉजिटिव है तो 1 अपॉन साइन cosec भी पॉजिटिव होगा रेस्ट ऑल आर नेगेटिव व्हिच मींस cos 10 sec cot ऑल आर नेगेटिव इन द थर्ड क्वाड्रेंट 10 इज पॉजिटिव व्हेन 10 इज पॉजिटिव 1 अपॉन 10 विल आल्सो बी पॉजिटिव व्हिच मींस cot विल आल्सो बी पॉजिटिव ओके सो आई एम अज्यूमिंग कि cot और 10 पॉजिटिव है यार बाकी सारे क्या है नेगेटिव है दैट मींस साइन इज नेगेटिव cos इज नेगेटिव cosec sec ऑल आर नेगेटिव टॉकिंग अबाउट द फोर्थ क्वाड्रेंट इन दिस फोर्थ क्वाड्रेंट योर cos इज पॉजिटिव एंड व्हिच मींस योर sec इज पॉजिटिव एज़ वेल अपार्ट फ्रॉम योर cos एंड sec your sign is negative, 10 is negative, cosec is negative and cot is negative. Sorted everyone, are you clear with this? ये मैं मान के चल रहा हूँ कि आपको पता है और अब करते हैं हम अपनी कहानी को शुरू कि कैसे हम लोग अपने angles को break करने वाले हैं, okay? Okay guys, so talking about this particular question that I have been given to us, I'm gonna start with this and I'm when I'm uh, simply saying that I'm talking about what? I'm talking about the angle that has been given to me. Let's say that you can give angle here has given you. You have given any angle in the minus infinity se lekar plus infinity to any measure ka angle you have given. What is the first thing you have to do? जब भी आप अपने एलाइड एंगल्स को हैंडल कर रहे हो जब भी आप अपने एंगल को अल्टीमेटली एक्यूट एंगल के फॉर्म में ला रहे हो तो आपको क्या करना है आपको सबसे पहले यह देखना है कि वो एंगल कहीं आपको नेगेटिव तो नहीं दे रखा अगर आपको नेगेटिव एंगल गिवन है अगर आपको एंगल जो है वो विद अ माइनस साइन गिवन है तो आपका पहला काम क्या है अगर आपको एंगल विद अ माइनस साइन गिवन है देन द फर्स्ट टास्क दैट यू हैव टू कंप्लीट इज दिस दैट यू हैव टू 
remove this minus sign from the angle because you need this angle to be in the positive form. सबसे पहला काम ये है कि जो एंगल की हम बात कर रहे हैं ये एंगल आपको पॉजिटिव फॉर्म में चाहिए ही चाहिए तो अगर आपको साइन माइनस थीटा गिवेन है टेक इज एज माइनस साइन थीटा इफ यू हैव कॉस माइनस थीटा टेक इट एज cos theta if you have 10 minus theta take it as minus 10 theta am i clear with this guys everyone out there please tell me quickly guys come on are we all clear with this till here can you hear me what i'm saying guys okay sorry so moving forward what i'm trying to tell you is this ki iske baad pehla kaam ye ho gaya ki minus ko bahar lena hai sin mein bahar aa jayega cos mein bahar aisa aayega ki gayab ho jayega okay you have cos minus theta is cos theta 10 minus theta is minus 10 theta Sin minus theta is minus sin theta. Are we clear till here? Now, moving forward, next step is what? Next step is कि जो आपका यहाँ पर अब ये theta है positive, जो आपका ये यहाँ पर अब theta है positive, इसको आप change करोगे किस form में? इसको आप change करोगे अपने alpha form में. इसको आप change करोगे अपने alpha form में और ये alpha form आपका क्या होगा? ये alpha form आपका ये होगा कि alpha will be 90 times n प्लस माइनस थीटा एवरीवन लिसन टू मी अब आप कुछ दूसरी बात कर रहे हो आपके पास जो भी एंगल है मान लो आपको साइन अल्फा गिवन है अब ये जो साइन अल्फा है अगर आपका ये साइन अल्फा 340 भी है तो आपको क्या करना है सबसे पहले आपको इस 340 डिग्री को ब्रेक करना है 90 टाइम्स n प्लस माइनस थीटा में नाउ व्हेन आई एम सेइंग दैट यू नीड टू ब्रेक दिस इन 90 टाइम्स n प्लस माइनस थीटा एवरीवन लिसन टू मी गाइस जब मैं इस 340 को ब्रेक करूंगा 90 टाइम्स n प्लस माइनस थीटा में तो मैं क्या करूंगा देखो मैं इसको सिंपली लिखूंगा साइन ऑफ व्हाट sin of 90 times n plus minus theta so either i can write it in this way either i could write it in this way sin of 90 times what 90 times 4 are we clear with this guys minus 20 how many of you are clear with this kis kis ko ye baat clear hai aap ya to lik sakte ho sin of 90 minus 4 this is 4 guys Either you can write sine of 90 minus 90 into 4 minus 20. This is one way of writing it. And second way could be this. Dusa tari ka ye ho sakta hai. Sine of 90 times 3. That is 270. And 270 plus what? 270 plus 70. Can I write it in this way? अगर आप देखोगे तो 70 भी मेरा acute angle है और 20 भी मेरा acute angle है. मैं अपने angle को इन दोनों में से किसी भी form में लिख सकता हूँ. लिख सकता हूँ या नहीं लिख सकता हूँ? Guys, please tell me quickly. I can write down either sine of 90 times 4 minus 20 or I can write it down as sine of 90 times 3 plus 70. Are we clear with this, everyone out there? Sort it, guys. Everyone out there, are we clear with this? So I am writing. My sine of 340 degree as what? I am writing my sine 340 degree as sine of 90 times 4 minus 20 or sine of 90 times 3 plus 70. First step is done. First of all, I have put my angle, which I have given angle de rakha hai, alpha. I have break it 90 times n plus minus theta. Are we clear with this? I have first of all broke my angle in 90 times n plus minus theta. Moving forward guys, what I'm going to do next is this. Now I will be able to know that this is the angle I was given here. The angle that I have been given over here guys, which I am talking about 340. This angle is in which quadrant I am talking about. This is the next step that I have. Everyone guys, are we clear with this? Hello Sumit, how are you? Thanks for replying. Everyone guys, please listen to me. What I am saying is, now the next step that I have is this. The angle that has been given to me, this angle is in which quadrant quadrant mein lie karega now if i'm talking about 340 degree you all know very well that 340 degree will be lying in which quadrant this is 90 180 270 and 360 so 360 is a come hai 270 is a zada hai aapka angle fourth quadrant mein lie karega okay so the angle 340 must be lying in the fourth quadrant ab ab ye dekho ge ki jo aapka given trigonometric ratio hai that is sign ये गिवन टिग्नोमेट्रिक रेशियो आपका फोर्थ क्वाड्रेंट में पॉजिटिव है या नेगेटिव है ओके नाउ लिसन टू मी क्योंकि आपका साइन फोर्थ क्वाड्रेंट में नेगेटिव होता है गाइस तो सबसे पहले मैंने यहां पर माइनस लगाया सबसे पहले मैंने यहां पर माइनस पुट करा एंड सिमिलरली यहां पर भी मैं क्या करूंगा माइनस पुट करूंगा आर वी क्लियर विद दिस फर्स्ट थिंग इज दिस फर्स्ट थिंग इज व्हाट फर्स्ट थिंग इज दैट यू विल बी डिटरमाइनिंग द क्वाड्रेंट जिसमें कि आपका वो एंगल लाइ करेगा और अगर वो क्वाड्रेंट में आपका गिवन टिग्नोमेट्रिक रेशियो पॉजिटिव है तो आप प्लस लिखोगे अगर नेगेटिव है तो आप माइनस लिखोगे दिस इज द फर्स्ट स्टेप ओके 
नाउ सेकेंड स्टेप विल बी वॉट सेकेंड स्टेप विल बी कि आप ये देखोगे कि जो आपको साइन के अंदर 90 टाइम्स एन दे रखा है ये 90 का इवन मल्टीपल है या ऑड मल्टीपल है अगर आपको 90 का इवन मल्टीपल गिवन होगा अगर आपको 90 का इवन मल्टीपल गिवन होगा तो आपका टेक्नोमेट्रिक रेशियो चेंज नहीं होगा साइन का क्या रहेगा साइन रहेगा ओके okay? और अगर आपको 90 का ऑड मल्टीपल गिवन होगा तो उस केस में यू विल बी चेंजिंग योर टेक्नोमेट्रिक रेशियो एंड साइन विल गेट चेंज टू वॉट कॉस Are we clear with this? So first step is this that if you have been given what, if you have been given what, if you have been given let's say uh, even multiple of your 90, in that case your sign will remain sign, and if you have been given the odd multiple of your 90, in that case your sign will get changed to cos. Are we clear with this? And जब आपने ये change कर दिया उसके बाद कुछ नहीं करना है, irrespective कि आपने यहाँ पर plus लिखा है या माइनस लिखा है अब आपको अपना एंगल जो आपका आगे वाला एंगल है वो लिख देना दैट इज माइनस साइन 20 एंड इट विल बी माइनस कॉस 20 सो दिस इज राइट एंड दिस इज राइट एज वेल आर वी क्लियर विद दिस गाइस एवरीवन आउट देयर प्लीज रिस्पोंड गाइस ऑल ऑफ यू आर वी क्लियर दिस विद दिस आई एम गोना टॉक अबाउट सो मेनी क्वेश्चंस नाउ इसको हम लोग बहुत अच्छे से डिस्कस करने वाले हैं विद मल्टीपल क्वेश्चंस बट प्लीज टेल मी Till now, are you clear? Are you getting these things, everyone? Sumit, is that clear to you? I know it's easy, very easy, but are we clear till here, everyone? Please tell me, guys, everyone who's there, please tell me quickly, everyone. Okay, so now moving forward guys, the next thing that I'm going to talk about is this again. So what I did, let me just revise it for you. What I did is basically this. I have an angle alpha given. First of all, I have to do this angle. Positive. The first thing that I'm supposed to do is what? Is to make this given angle to be positive angle. So if I have been given the form of minus theta or minus alpha, I will be taking the minus sign common. If it is sine of minus theta, or if it is 10 of minus theta or if it is sec of minus theta or cosec minus theta I will be taking minus sign outside my trigonometric ratio if not if let's say I have been given cos or sec if I have been given cos of minus theta or I have been given sec of minus theta in that case cos of minus theta will remain as cos theta and sec of minus theta will remain as sec theta I hope you are clear with this right Moving forward, once I have removed the negative sign, the minus sign from my angle, the next step will be what? The next step will be to put this angle in this particular form. Apka jo bhi alpha aapko given hai, us alpha ko aapko 90 times n plus minus theta mein likhna hai. And it could be any form. Jaysay ki maina aapko bola ki jab aap 340 ko break kar rahe ho, to aap usko 90 times 4 minus 20 bhi likh sakte ho. Or 90 times 3 plus 70 bhi likh sakte ho. That depends on you which way would you like to move. Okay? आपने क्या करा सबसे पहले माइनस साइन एलिमिनेट करा माइनस साइन हटाने के बाद उसके बाद आपने क्या करा अपने एंगल को 90 टाइम्स एन प्लस माइनस थीटा में कन्वर्ट करा उसके बाद आपने अपने एंगल को 90 टाइम्स एन प्लस माइनस थीटा में कन्वर्ट करा आफ्टर कन्वर्टिंग योर एंगल आफ्टर कन्वर्टिंग योर एंगल टू 90 टाइम्स एन प्लस माइनस थीटा योर नेक्स्ट टास्क विल बी व्हाट योर नेक्स्ट टास्क विल बी टू फाइंड आउट कि ये जो एंगल है आपका कौन से क्वाड्रेंट में लाई कर रहा है और उस क्वाड्रेंट में आपका जो गिवन टिग्नोमेट्रिक रेशियो है वो कैसे बिहेव करता है ओके सो यू फाउंड आउट दैट योर 340 डिग्री विल बी लाइंग इन व्हिच क्वाड्रेंट योर 340 डिग्री विल बी लाइंग इन द फोर्थ क्वाड्रेंट एंड इन फोर्थ क्वाड्रेंट साइन इज नेगेटिव इसीलिए आपने क्या करा यहां पर भी माइनस साइन लगाया और आपने यहां पर भी माइनस साइन लगाया आई होप इट इज क्लियर टू यू जैसे ही आप ये क्लेरिफाई कर लो कि वो कौन से क्वाड्रेंट में लाई कर रहा है एंड वहां पर साइन क्या होने वाला है द नेक्स्ट स्टेप दैट यू विल बी हैविंग इज व्हाट द नेक्स्ट स्टेप दैट यू विल बी हैविंग इज दिस वन कि अब अगर आपको साइन 90 का इवन मल्टीपल दिया है तो आपका साइन साइन रहेगा एंड देन यू हैव दिस 20 और अगर आपको 90 का ऑड मल्टीपल दिया है तो ये आपका साइन कॉस हो जाएगा एंड देन यू विल बी हैव दिस 70 यहां पर 70 है तो 70 आएगा गाइस इट विल बी 70 आर वी क्लियर विद दिस गाइस आर वी ऑल देयर प्लीज टेल मी सॉर्टेड आर वी क्लियर विद दिस दैट्स हाउ वी कैन सॉल्व दीस क्वेश्चंस नाउ जैसे मेरे को यहां पर साइन दे रखा था और मेरे पास ऑड मल्टीपल था तो हमने साइन का कॉस किया इसी तरीके से याद रखना गाइस जस्ट अ मिनट इसी तरीके से गाइस अगर आपको मान लो कॉस दिया है और आपके पास ऑड मल्टीपल है तो कॉस विल गेट चेंज टू साइन 
अगर आपको टेन दिया है और आपका ऑड मल्टीपल है तो योर टेन विल गेट चेंज टू कॉट अगर आपको कॉट दिया है और इवन मल्टीपल है योर ऑड मल्टीपल है योर कॉट विल बी चेंज टू वॉट टेन अगर आपको सेक दिया है और आपका ऑड मल्टीपल है सेक विल गेट चेंज टू कॉसेक एंड कॉसेक विल गेट चेंज टू सेक आई विल क्लियर दिस एंड ऑल दोज कन्वर्जन If you can see here, your ten will get changed to what? Your ten will get changed to plus minus cot. Sec will get changed to cos. Cosec. Cosec will get changed to sec. Sine will get changed to cos, and cos will get changed to sine. Are we clear with this, guys? Everyone out there? Sorted. Now let's talk about one more question. एक और question की बात करते हैं. So the question that I have been given is this, guys. Are you there? We just want to have a discussion now. Please tell me, are you there or not? Everyone out there, guys, please tell me. Are you there or not? So, guys, what we have been given is this sign. Let's take it this way. Mm, okay. We have been given sine of two hundred ten degree. Now, the first thing is what? First thing is to identify that my co any angle negative to not given. Yeah, Haji, my co angle negative not given. Let's move forward. When you have me, when you have not been given the negative angle, your next step is what? Your next step is to get this angle in the form of ninety times n plus minus theta. That will be what? That will be equal to. You will be writing it in this way: sine of. You will be having ninety times two, guys. Everyone out there, can you understand this? It will be ninety times two. Are you clear till here? It will be ninety times two, one eighty, and then you will be having plus thirty. Are we clear till here, guys? Everyone out there, are you getting this? So you will be having sine of two hundred ten degree as what? You will be having sine of two hundred ten degree as what? You will be having sine of two hundred ten degree as sine of ninety times two plus thirty. Sorted. जब आपका ये sine of ninety times two plus thirty आ गया, guys, are you able to understand what I'm saying, everyone? जब आपका ये साइन ऑफ 90 टाइम्स 2 प्लस 30 आ गया है ये नाउ योर नेक्स्ट स्टेप इज टू फाइंड आउट कि आपका 210 डिग्री जो होगा वो कौन से क्वाड्रेंट में लाइक करेगा और उस क्वाड्रेंट में आपका साइन गिवन टिग्नोमेट्रिक रेशियो कैसे बिहेव करेगा सो लेट्स ड्रॉ द क्राउड क्वाड्रेंट्स यू हैव 0 यू हैव 90 यू हैव 180 यू हैव 210 210 विल बी लाइंग इन द थर्ड क्वाड्रेंट एंड इन योर थर्ड क्वाड्रेंट इन योर थर्ड क्वाड्रेंट व्हाट इज साइन इज नेगेटिव और जब आपका साइन नेगेटिव है तो अब मैं इसके आगे क्या लिखूंगा Can you select wrong? I will be writing a negative sign. Okay, sort it. I will be having what? I will be having a negative sign now because you have what? You have the even multiple. Because your even multiple is ninety, so your trigonometric ratio change will not change. You will be having just sign over here. Okay, so you have got minus sign what? Minus sign thirty degree. How many of you are clear with this, guys? And minus sine thirty is what? Minus sine thirty is nothing but minus sine thirty is equal to minus one by two. ये बात किस किस को clear है? मुझे पटापट से बता दो. हाँ जी. Everyone guys, please tell me. I request you all to please respond guys so that I can just get to know कि हाँ आपको समझ में आ रहा है या नहीं आ रहा. Please tell me guys quickly. Everyone, are we clear with this till here? Everyone out there, please tell me. Come on, guys. Are you getting it or not? Please tell me. <clears throat> okay. So now moving forward. Let me just refresh it. Okay, guys. So now what we have is this. <clears throat> okay. So now let's continue. Uh, as you can see that this is your what? This is your uh, minus sine thirty. This was the one way of doing this question. Now, basically, दूसरे तरीके से कैसे करूँगा? Let's do it in the, from the next way. 
sine of 210 degree can also be written as what sine of 210 degree can also be written in this way <clears throat> sine of 90 times 4 everyone guys please listen to me 90 times 3 sorry that is 270 90 times 3 is 270 can I write it as 270 90 times 3 is 270 okay I have 90 times 3 minus what minus 60 is that clear to you are you getting it now I can write it in this way as well I could write my sine 210 degree as sine of 90 times 3 that is sine 270 minus 60 is that clear to you guys everyone out there right this particular case ki jab baat karunga, so because here I am having sine of 90 times 3 minus 60 I can write it in this way everyone this will be what this will be your uh, in the uh, fourth quadrant in the third quadrant your sine is negative you will be writing minus sign over here moving forward because you have the odd multiple the sign will get changed to cos sorted after changing your sign to cos now you will be writing minus cos 60 and if you find out the value of cos 60 what is your cos 60 your cos 60 is nothing but 1 by 2 and you are getting the answer as minus 1 by 2 are we clear with this so if you see this is your minus 1 by 2 and this is your minus 1 by 2 which means that aap isko chahe cos ke terms mein convert karo aur aap isko chahe sin ke terms mein convert karo the answer that you are getting that is minus 1 by 2 is similar in both the cases are we clear with this or not guys everyone please tell me quickly guys everyone out there are we clear with this right so that's how we can do this i hope it's clear to you now and now we will be talking about so many questions based on it and here we have the questions let's begin with them okay so when we are clear till here guys these are the questions that i have the first one is sine of 315 degree now when i'm talking about sine of 315 degree what i can do here when i'm talking about sine of 315 degree sine of 315 degree can be written as sine of 90 times 3 plus 45 isn't it because sine 315 is nothing but sine 270 plus 45 are we clear with this sine of 315 degree is nothing but what sine of 315 degree is nothing but sine of 90 times 3 plus 45 okay now when i'm having sine of 90 times 3 plus 45 i can say what i can say that this is nothing but what this is nothing but the fourth quadrant how many of you are clear with this <clears throat> First of all, what did I do? I converted my angle to 90 times n plus minus theta. Mein convert kara. Second thing is what? Second thing is to find out that in which quadrant this angle will be lying. So this particular angle, I, actually this should be 315 that I am talking about. Your sine of 315 degree should lie in the fourth quadrant. And in the fourth quadrant, your sine is what? Your sine is negative. Because your sign is negative in the fourth quadrant, you can see that here I have first of all mentioned the minus sign. After mentioning this minus sign, what I have, I have 90 times 3 plus 45, which means I have the odd multiple of 90. I have what? I have the odd multiple of 90, and because I have the odd multiple of 90, I will be my I will be changing my sign to cos. Are we clear with this, guys? Everyone out there? Sort it. I have sign of 90 times 3. When I'm saying 90 times 3, it means I am going to have what I am going to have the odd multiple uh, of 90 and that is why I will be changing my sign to cos. When I sign to cos, mein change kar liya, so now I have this plus 45 so it will be minus cos 45. Is that clear to you guys? Okay, so sign 315 degree can be written as what? Sign 315 degree can be written as minus cos 45. Are we clear with this guys? Cos 45 is nothing but 1 by root 2 and minus cos 45 will be minus 1 by root 2. Uh, how many of you are clear with this guys? Come on quickly tell me everyone guys are we clear with this? Come on tell me quickly guys. Bolo yaar, samaj mein aara nahi aara. Please tell me guys everyone out there are we clear with this or not? Please tell me quickly everyone. Are you gonna reply buddies? Okay, so that's how we can do it. Now let's move forward. When we are clear with this, let's move forward. And the next question that I have is cos of 210 degree. Now when I'm talking about cos 210 degree, let's see how we're going to do this again. Cos 210 degree 
can be written as cos of 90 times 2 plus 30. Okay, I just wrote it in this way, cos of 90 times 2 plus 30. When I'm having cos of 90 times 2 plus 30, it will give me what? It will give me an angle, which is 210 hai, or 210 is nothing, but it is in the third quadrant. How many of you are clear with this? My angle 210 degree will lie in the third quadrant. Are we clear with this, guys? Everyone out there, are we sorted with this? My angle 210 degree will lie in which quadrant? My angle 210 degree will lie in the third quadrant. Okay. Now, when my angle is lying in the third quadrant, I can see that in the third quadrant, my cos is negative. And because in the third quadrant, my cos is negative, that is why I have mentioned this minus sign over here. Okay. Because in the third quadrant, my cos is negative, that is why I have mentioned the minus sign over here. After mentioning this minus sign over here, I will be moving forward. This cos will remain cos. Why this will remain cos? Because I have 90 ka even multiple and 90 times 2. This is why cos is cos. I have cos and I have minus cos. What? Minus cos 30 degrees. Sorted. Are we clear with this guys? And the answer is minus root 3 by 2. Are we clear with this? Okay. Let's talk about the next question. The next question that I have is an interesting one. And you can see in the next question, I have cos of minus 480. And if you remember, I told you that whenever you have a negative angle, ke liye de rakha hoga, whenever you have been given your cos for the negative angle, it will be mandatory for you to remove the negative sign at the first place and then go for anything else. Okay. So first of all, I remove this negative sign. I remove this negative sign. Okay. And I will be having cos of 480 degree. Is that clear to you? I removed this negative sign and I got cos 480. How? Because we all know that cos minus theta is nothing but cos theta. Are we clear with this? Cos of minus theta is as same as cos theta. So I will be having cos of 480 degree with me. Now this cos 480 can be written as what? This cos 480 can be written as 450 plus 30, which means it will be cos of 90 times 5 plus 30. Are we clear with this? I have cos of 90 times 5 plus 30. Everyone guys, please tell me, are we clear with this? Cos of 90 times 5 plus 30. Okay. Now again, if I talk about this particular angle, ye kahan lai karega? Dekh lete hai, so dek bari. this is my Cartesian system. Okay. If I talk about 90, 180, 270, 360, this is my 360. 360 plus 90, that is my 450. After 450, this is my 480. My 480 will be lying somewhere here. My 480 kuch yahan par lie karega. And if you talk about this 480 degree, you can write it as cos of 90 times 5 plus 30. Are we clear with this? You can write your cos 480 as what? You can write your cos 480 as cos of 90 times 5 plus 30. Okay. And we are when you are writing it in this way, second quadrant ke andar aapka cos kya hota hai? Negative hota hai. You will be writing what? You will be writing minus sign over here. Aapne minus sign yaha par likha. After writing this minus sign, you will be talking about 90 ka multiple. 90 is having the odd multiple over here because the 90 is having odd multiple over here. That is why your cos will get changed to sign and you will be having minus sign 30. Are we clear with this guys everyone? Please tell me. You will be having minus sign 30 sine 30 is nothing but 1 by 2 and when you have minus it will be minus 1 by 2. Are we clear with this guys everyone out there please tell me quickly. Guys are we clear with this please tell me quickly guys everyone out there. Are we sorted till here guys? Can you tell me everyone? Are we clear till here? Come on guys, please respond. Anyone who is here, please respond guys. Are we clear with this or not? Please tell me quickly. Okay, so now I am clear with this when I am getting this particular thing that I am getting this particular thing that I am getting this particular thing that I am the next is sine of minus 1125 degree okay the angle that I have is or the trigonometric ratio that I have is 
sine of minus one one two five degree. That's what I have. What I have sine of minus one one two five degree. Now when I'm talking about sine of minus one one two five degree, you can write your sine of minus one one two five as what? You can write your sine of minus one one two five as minus sine of one one two five. Is that clear to you? The first thing, the first thing that I told you, if you remember, the first thing that I told you, if you remember, guys, is what? The first thing that I told you was this: कि आपको सबसे पहले अपना minus theta वाली form को खत्म करना है. अपना माइनस का साइन वहां से हटाना है ये माइनस का साइन आपने यहां से हटाया इसको आप बाहर लेकर आए यू बी हैविंग व्हाट नाउ यू विल बी हैविंग माइनस ऑफ साइन 1125 डिग्री नाउ वंस यू गॉट माइनस ऑफ साइन 1125 डिग्री नाउ द नेक्स्ट स्टेप दैट यू हैव इज दिस यू विल बी राइटिंग इट व्हाट यू विल बी राइटिंग इट इन द फॉर्म ऑफ साइन ऑफ 90 टाइम्स n प्लस माइनस थीटा ओके सो इट विल बिकम व्हाट इट विल बिकम माइनस साइन 90 टाइम्स 12 प्लस 45 आर वी क्लियर विद दिस गाइस बिकॉज़ इफ यू डू 90 times 12. 90 times 12 is what? 90 times 12 is nothing but 990 plus your 90. That is 1080. Okay. And 1080. Me, agar aap 45 add kar doge, to aapko 1125 mil jayega. Okay. So basically, what you have, you have minus sine 90 times 12 plus 45 degree. Is that clear to you or not, guys? Everyone out there, please tell me quickly, guys. Everyone. Are we sorted till here, guys? Eleven T's out there. Are we sorted till here? Please tell me quickly, everyone. Okay. अब यहाँ पर मैंने minus sign पहले ही लिख दिया है. इसको अभी भारी रखेंगे हम. And इसके साथ मेरे पास है sine of ninety times twelve plus forty five. अगर मैं बात करूँ ये angle कहाँ लाए करेगा तो देखो. आपके पास जो पूरा एक चक्कर होता है वो होता है three sixty का. फिर seven twenty का. और फिर होता है वापस three sixty that is one zero eight zero. आपका ये one zero eight zero यहाँ पर आगे खत्म हो गया. आपके पास एंगल है 1080 प्लस 45 दैट विल बी लाइंग समवेयर इन द फर्स्ट क्वार्टर एंड इन द फर्स्ट क्वार्टर एंड योर साइन इज व्हाट योर साइन इज पॉजिटिव तो आप यहां पर अपने पॉजिटिव साइन को पॉजिटिव ही रखोगे और बस आपका जो ये माइनस है ये ही माइनस आपका यहां पर आगे ट्रैवल करेगा आर वी क्लियर विद दिस ओके सो यू हैव माइनस साइन विद यू आफ्टर दिस माइनस व्हाट यू हैव क्योंकि आपके पास 90 का इवन मल्टीपल है Because you have what? Because you have the even multiple of ninety with you. That is why your sine will remain as sine, and then you have sine of forty-five. So the angle finally becomes minus sine forty-five degree. That is nothing but minus one by root two. How many of you are clear with this? Come on, tell me quickly, everyone. Are we clear with this? You got this. I'm getting what? I'm getting my minus sine forty-five degree, and that is nothing but minus one by root two. हाँ जी आर वी क्लियर दिस कम ऑन टेल मी गाइज बोलो कुछ तो बोलो एवरी वन आई यू लिस्निंग वन आई एम सेंग गाइज आई वन स्पीक समथिंग ऑन नॉट प्लीज टेल मी क्विकली आर वी क्लियर टिल हेयर गाइज कम ऑन आई एम वेरिंग फॉर योर रिस्पॉन्स आर वी क्लियर टिल हेयर गाइज एवरी वन Okay, so assuming that you are clear till here, let's move forward. The next question that we have is cos sec 390. So can anyone do this, guys? Any one of you who would like to do this question, cos 390 degree? How can we convert this from uh, an obtuse angle or from a very big angle to an acute angle? Can anyone or anyone would like to? Okay, so moving forward with this, uh, how am I going to do this? Is uh, this particular way? cos 390 को हम क्या लिख सकते हैं एवरीवन ओके सो व्हेन आई हैव cos 390 cos 390 कैन बी रिटन एज 90 टाइम्स 4 प्लस 30 ओके 90 टाइम्स 4 इज 360 360 प्लस 30 इज 390 सो यू हैव 390 इज इक्वल टू 90 टाइम्स 4 प्लस 30 दिस इज वन थिंग सेकंड थिंग इज दैट व्हेन आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट 360 प्लस 30 योर 360 प्लस 30 विल बी लाइंग इन द फर्स्ट क्वार्टर एंड इफ आई एम नॉट रॉन्ग ओके 360 प्लस 30 विल बी लाइंग इन द First quadrant. So now you have what? You have 390 degree angle in the 
इन द फर्स्ट क्वार ओके जब आपका 390 डिग्री एंगल फर्स्ट क्वार में लाए कर रहा है तो अब आपका मल्टीपल जो है 90 का वो क्या है इवन है ओके okay? आपके पास 90 का मल्टीपल इवन है पहली बात फर्स्ट क्वार में लाई कर रहा है और फर्स्ट क्वार में कौन से क्या होता है पॉजिटिव होता है इसलिए आपने यहाँ पर पॉजिटिव ही लगाया है यहाँ पर पॉजिटिव ही लगाया है दूसरी बात क्योंकि आपके पास 90 का इवन मल्टीपल है दैट इज वाई बिकॉज यू हैव द इवन मल्टीपल ऑफ 90 दैट इज वाई इफ यू सी दैट योर कॉसेक विल रिमेन कॉसेक इट विल नॉट गेट चेंज टू सेक आपका कॉसेक कॉसेक ही रहेगा आपने लिखा यहाँ पर कॉसेक एंड देन यू विल बी हैविंग 30 डिग्री तो द एंगल विल बिकम वॉट द एंगल विल बिकम कॉसेक थर्टी डिग्री आई क्लियर विद एवरी वन Come on, guys. Are we clear with this? The angle will be cos 30 degree. That is equal to two. That is the value. Okay. Moving forward, the next question that we have is cot 570 degree. Now, when I'm talking about cot 570 degree, it will be what? I have my 570 degree that can be written as 90 times 6. That is 540 plus 30. 90 times 6 plus 30. That will be 570. Now, talking about more. Uh, talking about it a bit more. तो इसी को अगर मैं देखूंगा तो ये मेरा कौन सा क्वार है दिस इज माई थर्ड क्वार हाउ लेट सी नाइनटी टाइम्स थर्ड क्वार गाइज माई क्वार इज पॉजिटिव थर्ड क्वार में मेरा कॉर्ड पॉजिटिव होता है क्योंकि थर्ड क्वार में मेरा कॉर्ड पॉजिटिव होता है इसीलिए मैं क्या बोल सकता हूँ इसीलिए मैं सिंपली बोल सकता हूँ कि यहाँ पर मेरे पास प्लस ही रहेगा माइनस नहीं आएगा पहली चीज दूसरी चीज क्योंकि मेरे पास यहाँ पर 90 का इवन मल्टीपल है आई हैव 90 टाइम्स सिक्स दैट इज द इवन मल्टीपल ऑफ नाइनटी दैट इज वाई माई कॉट विल अगेन रिमेन कॉट मेरा कॉट भी कॉट रहेगा ओके एंड थर्ड थिंग मैं क्या लिख दूंगा इसको कॉट ऑफ 30 डिग्री लिख दूंगा दैट विल बी माय रूट थ्री आर वी क्लियर विद दिस गाइस कम ऑन गाइस प्लीज रिस्पॉन्ड व्हाइल आई एम टेकिंग सम वाटर आई वांट यू रिस्पॉन्स यू आर नॉट रिस्पॉन्डिंग एनीथिंग टुडे व्हाई यू नो व्हाई okay so let's move forward if you are not replying anything and the next question that we have here guys is this one uh that is your mm, let's talk about the pi questions now ab baat karte hain ek pi ke question ki ki agar aapko 19 pi by 3 diya hai to usko kaise tackle karna hai the answer is no everyone when you have been given things in pi so i am assuming ki aapko pehle se pata hai ki pi mein aur degrees mein relation kya hota hai so basically this is your pi that we talk about and this pi is equal to what this pi is equal to 180 degree jo aap pi likhte ho radians mein wo pi aapka degrees ke andar 180 degree ke equal hota hai okay jo aap pi likhte ho radians mein wahi pi aapka degrees mein 180 degree ke equal hota hai is that clear to you or not okay the pi that you write in the radians that pi is exactly equal to 180 degree that you write in what that you write in the Degrees. Are we clear with this guy? Now, when I'm talking about 19 pi by 3, or yeah, me jab bolta hoon ki mere ko isko 90 times n plus minus theta ke terms mein break karna hai. Jab me bolta hoon ki mere ko isko 90 times n, mere ko isko 90 times n plus minus theta ke form mein break karna hai. To iska matlab kya hai? Iska matlab simply ye hai. Iska matlab simply kya hai? इसका मतलब सिंपली ये है कि जब मैं इसको रेडियन में बात करूंगा तो रेडियन में 90 इज व्हाट रेडियन में 90 इज नथिंग बट पाए बाय टू आर वी क्लियर विद दिस गाइस व्हेन आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट 90 डिग्री सो इन केस ऑफ रेडियंस इन द रेडियंस इफ आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट 
in radians 90 degree is nothing but it is equal to pi by 2 sorted or not guys everyone out there are you clear with this so 90 degree is equal to pi by 2 in radians or jab main apne angle ko radians mein likh raha hu so if i have 19 pi by 3 to ye basically aapka kya ho jayega 19 by 3 into 180 degree ho jayega because i told you that pi is exactly equal to 180 तो जो बिहेवियर आपके पाई का है वही बिहेवियर आपके 180 डिग्री का होता है पाई इज इन रेडियंस 180 डिग्री इज इन डिग्री तो आप क्या करोगे जब भी आपको इस टाइप का क्वेश्चन दिया गया है तो आप सिंपली कंफ्यूज होने से बेटर है कि आप अपने रेडियन को कन्वर्ट करो किसमें जस्ट कन्वर्ट योर रेडियंस इन टू डिग्रीज एंड यू विल बी हैविंग वॉट यू विल बी हैविंग नाइनटीन पाई बाय थ्री इक्वल टू नाइनटीन बाय थ्री टाइम्स वन एटी डिग्री क्लियर टू यू 19 pi by 3 will become what? 19 pi by 3 will become 19 by 3 times 180 degree and that is equal to what? That is equal to 1140 degree. Are we clear with this? That is equal to 1140 degree. Now, 1140 degree ko tackle kaise karna hai? Ye aapko aata hai kaise karna hai? That's very simple. You will be simply writing it in this way. 19 times 12 plus 60, isn't it guys? Because 90 times 12 will be what? 90 times 12 will be 1080 degree and plus 60 will give you 1140 degree. Are we clear with this, guys? Everyone out there, please tell me quickly. Sort it now. Once you are having 1140 degree, the next step that you're going to have is this one. Ki ab aap kya karoge? Ab aap isko yahan par is tarikhe se break kar doge that your 1019 pi by 3 is what? Your 1019 pi by 3 is nothing but 10 of 90 times 12 plus 60 degree. Are we clear with this guys everyone? Okay. You have your 10 of 19 pi by 3 is equal to 10 19 times 12 plus 60. Sort it. And this 10 90 times 12 is what? 90 times 12 ki jab mein baat karunga 19 to 12. Uh, if I talk about here 90 times 1, 90 times 2, 90 times 3, 90 times 4, 90 times 5, 90 times 6, 90 times 7, 90 times 8, 90 times 9, 90 times 10, 90 times 11 and 90 times 12. This is your 90 times 12. 90 times 12 plus what? 90 times 12 plus 60 that will be lying in the first quadrant. Are we clear with this guys everyone? Okay, so here I pass 90 times 12 plus 60 here. That is what? That means that I will be having what? I will be having my first quadrant over here. Okay. And now when I talk first quadrant, baat karta hon, in my first quadrant, my 10 is what? My 10 is positive. So let's write it down at 1060. Why 1060? Because you have 90 ka even multiple. Hai. And when you have the even multiple of 90, your trigonometric ratio will not change. So you will finally be having 10 of 60 degree. That is nothing but root 3. Anji guys. How many of you are clear with this? Hello. Corona comedy, how are you? How is your comedy going on? Everyone guys, are we clear with this? Please tell me quickly, are we sorted with what we are discussing over here? Bolo yaar. Are we getting this guys? Everyone out there, come on, tell me quickly. Bolte nahi ho. जब हम क्लियर हैं इसको लेकर लेट्स मूव फॉरवर्ड आगे बढ़ते हैं और अब बात करते हैं आगे की आगे की कहानी की सो व्हाट आई एम ट्राइंग टू टेल यू हियर इज दिस कि गाइस ये हमारा जो है दिस इज नथिंग बट अ YouTube सेशन ओके दिस इज व्हाट वी कॉल अ YouTube सेशन दैट इज जस्ट फॉर वन आवर एंड एज आई टोल्ड यू इन द बिगिनिंग दैट आई विल बी अज्यूमिंग दैट यू ऑलरेडी नो हाउ योर ट्रिग्नोमेट्रिक रेशियोस विल बिहेव इन डिफरेंट क्वाड्रेंट्स आई टोल्ड यू इन द बिगिनिंग दैट वी विल बी टेकिंग इनटू कंसीडरेशन दैट यू ऑलरेडी नो how uh, your sine minus theta and your cos minus theta, your 10 minus theta, cot minus theta, sec minus theta behaves. So I took all these things into consideration, assuming that you all know this, right? Because why? Because we just have one hour and in just one hour, it's not possible for us to discuss everything. Are you getting it? That is why guys, what you can do is, I mean, if any one of you want to have the complete sessions on each and every topic, if you want to discuss the entire trigonometry, 
and all the topics that we have in class 11th okay all the topics if you want to discuss that we have in class 11th there is just one simple way one simple thing that you all need to do and that is you all need to download an academy learning app so if you already have it that's very good if you do not have it you just need to download an academy learning application from play store you can search my name and you will be able to find so many sessions that i have taken on technometry and you will be able to learn from them first thing secondly guys uh, as we are, as we know that we are having a lockdown going on our country and we are suffering a lot uh, we are not allowed to get out of our homes and that is why we have started with a batch course okay humne bahut sare life plus courses ke sath and bahut sare uh, alag alag classes ke liye batch courses start kare hain jahan par ki hum log entire syllabus entire syllabus of a particular topic कवर करने वाले हैं ओके एंड उस पर्टिकुलर की जब हम लोग बात करते हैं बैच कोर्स की तो वहां पर हमारे पास एक टॉपिक के ऊपर एक चैप्टर के ऊपर मल्टीपल सेशंस होते हैं वो मल्टीपल सेशंस होने के साथ साथ व्हाट वी डू वी बेसिकली हैव द डाउट क्लियरिंग सेशन स्पेसिफिक डाउट क्लियरिंग सेशन वी हैव स्पेसिफिक क्विजेज वी हैव मेगा क्विजेज वी हैव वीकली क्विजेज वी हैव जहाँ पे कि आप अपनी परफॉर्मेंस एनालाइज कर सकते हैं uh doubt clearing session where you can ask the questions that you might be having related to any topic you can ask all your questions about that so that's the kind of setup that we have over here and if any one of you want to subscribe to an academy plus agar aap wo batch course attend karna chahte hain to aapko an academy plus pe subscribe karna padega and for the subscription you'll have to pay a subscription charge wo charge pe agar aap code use karenge sg08 I'm writing it down here. This is S G. Then you have the zero, and after the zero, you have eight. Okay. So if you use this code S G zero eight, if you use this code S G zero eight, अगर आप ये कोड यूज़ करते हो अन एकेडमी प्लस के लिए सब्सक्राइब करते टाइम, so you will be able to get flat. 10% discount okay you will be able to get flat 10% discount on the subscription charges i hope you got this right so by using this code you can get the flat 10% discount and guys one more thing that when you are subscribing to your particular class let's say you guys are in class 11th and you are getting the subscription you are taking the subscription for class 11th so in that case guys uh it is not the fact that ki aap sirf math ki class le paoge you will be eligible to take all the classes i mean you will be eligible to take the classes for your english you will be eligible to take the classes uh, to attend the classes for science as in physics chemistry biology you will be able to attend the classes for physical you will be able to attend the classes for mathematics there are so many different different educators that you can learn from on an academy it's a great platform i welcome you all on an academy and that's a small message from my side now moving forward let's continue talking about these questions so when you have 11 pi by 3 how to find how to tackle this so when you have 11 pi by 3 that will again be 11 by 3 times 180 are we clear with this guys what you will be having you will be having 11 by 3 times 180 degree and that will become how much that will become uh, your 660 degree okay so the angle is nothing but 660 degree अब इस 660 डिग्री को अगर आपको टैकल करना है तो कैसे करोगे अगेन यू विल बी ब्रेकिंग इट इन दिस फॉर्म यू विल बी हैविंग 90 टाइम्स 7 प्लस 30 डिग्री आर यू क्लियर विद दिस यू विल बी हैविंग 90 टाइम्स 7 प्लस 30 डिग्री ओके दिस 90 टाइम्स 7 प्लस 30 विल बी व्हाट इट विल बी नथिंग बट योर 660 डिग्री पहली चीज दूसरी चीज ये है कि अगर आप इस एंगल को देखो जो आपको क्वेश्चन गिवन है ना वो आपको साइन ऑफ -11 पाई बाय 3 गिवन है सो यू विल बी टेकिंग दिस माइनस साइन आउटसाइड and you will be having minus sin 11 pi by 3 are we clear with this okay so now you will be having minus sin 11 pi by 3 how many of you are clear with this particular thing that i just told you you will be having minus sin 11 pi by 3 first thing okay second is that now you will be breaking this 11 pi by 3 into this 90 times 7 plus 30 okay that's what you did over here now if you talk about this angle of yours 90 times 7 plus 30 the angle is 660 and this 660 angle is lying in what quadrant the 660 angle if you see this is lying in which quadrant dekho yaar zara you have 90 times 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 
so your 90 times 7 plus 30 it is lying in the fourth quadrant because the angle that you are talking about is lying in the fourth quadrant now what you need to do now you need to say that your fourth quadrant mein sign is what negative that is why if you look everyone guys this minus sign which you have before you have written it here and after the fourth quadrant ki wajah se jo minus sign came here that I have put here clear Are we clear with this guys? So I already have a minus sign with me and this minus sign I put because of my fourth quadrant. Okay. After doing this guys, what I need to do is, as you can see that I have the odd multiple of 90 over here. So I will be converting my sign to cos and I will be having minus of minus cos 30. Are we clear with this? I will be having minus of minus cos 30. Is it clear to you guys, everyone out there? Please tell me quickly guys, come on. Are we clear with this guys? Sorted everyone or not? Come on, tell me quickly. Are we clear with this? Okay. So assuming that is clear to you, now I will be writing it as minus of minus of cos 30. That will be minus of minus root 3 by 2. That is root 3 by 2. This is my final answer. Sorted everyone. Okay, and the next question that we have is cot minus 15 pi by 4. Isko bhi karte hai, dekhte hai kaise hoga. Isko karne ke liye kya karenge? Again, I will be taking this minus sign outside. Cot of minus theta will be minus cot theta. That's what I got from here. Now, 15 pi by 4 can be written as 15 times 180 by 4. Okay, this is nothing but 675 degree. Now, this 675 degree can be written as what? This 675 degree can be written as 90 times 7 plus 45 okay 675 can be written as 90 times 7 plus 45 this 90 times 7 plus 45 will be what it will again be lying in what in the fourth quadrant if i'm not wrong okay so 90 times 7 will be 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 fourth quadrant 90 times 7 plus 45 fourth quadrant i have in the fourth quadrant my cot is negative are you getting it guys uh, in the fourth quadrant my cot is negative are you getting it guys okay so if you see here to a minus sign to minus sign to mere paas pehle se hi aaya and one other minus sign I have put here because of the fourth quadrant. Okay. Now next is what I have 90 times 7 because this is the odd multiple. So here we will tan the cord. It is wrong that they have not written the cord. It should be what? It should be 10. Okay. Instead of this cord, it should be what? It should be 10 for sure. What should you do here? You should be 10 here like this. Okay, so I have minus of minus of 1045 degree, which will be minus of minus one that is equal to plus one sort it. And that is how we can actually talk about these questions. That is how we can actually discuss these questions. That is how we can actually find out any angle that has been given to you. Koi bhi trigonometric ratio jo aapko given hai. Kisi bhi trigonometric ratio ke liye aapko angle agar bohat zada highest given hai. You can simply get that angle in what? You can simply get that angle within your acute angle range that is 0 to 90 by applying this trigonometric ratios for allied angles. Are we clear with this guys? That's how we can do it. Now uh, that's all from my side for this session guys. Again I would uh, like to tell you that you all if you already have an academy plus subscription that's very great. And if you do not have that subscription, you all can subscribe to an Academy Plus so that we can take classes in continuation like we take an Academy Plus. You can use my code that is S G 08. The code will help you to get what? The code will help you to get 10% discount on your subscription charges. And that's all from my side guys. I hope to see you all there in the plus classes. Or I hope to see you all here on YouTube in the next session that we are going to have on YouTube. Till then guys, please take care. Okay, have a good understanding of this trigonometric ratios. Please try to revise whatever we have discussed over here. This will help you in the long run. All the 11th, all the 12th who are there. This is very important for you guys. This will help you for a long time until you read the mathematics. So please revise it in the best way possible. And that's all from my side. Thank you so much guys for being here in the session and I wish you all the very best for your future. Okay, take care. Bye.